Hi guys, welcome to today's episode and we have Crystal Blanchard here with us. And today we are talking about gut infections and parasites. So Crystal, welcome. Thank you. I love being with you and chatting with you about this, my favorite topic. (laughs) So it's funny because you were sharing with me um, some of the successes that you've seen with some of your clients. So I want you, obviously, without naming anyone, just share some of the things that you are seeing in people's poop and kind of what was happening before and what's coming out. Should I just show you my picture album on my phone of all the pictures? Yeah. <laughs> um, what am I seeing on people that are X-rayed in at the <laughs> Um, Yeah, it's pretty wild. It's pretty wild because we're doing stool tests and oftentimes, many times, stool tests come back negative. And so you're confused and left with wondering, do I have a parasite? Because the test is saying that I'm negative, yet I'm still getting the bloating and the gas, diarrhea or constipation. And constipation is a big sign of parasites, by the way. A lot of people assume you get only diarrhea, but parasites also will show in the form of constipation, skin conditions, clenching of your jaw and rectal itching, those sort of things. And so you're getting all of these symptoms, but you're pooped. Your stool test is coming back negative. So to that, I still will treat. And when we treat, we see these parasites come out into the toilet. And it always shocks us because you expected nothing to come out. Um, Things that we're seeing are a lot of red, red things that look either like dried up tomato skin or red pepper peels. Um, Sometimes they look like a little jellyfish, but they're red and bright. And a lot of times people will think they're bleeding but there's no blood. It just comes out as red. And every time I mention that, somebody will say, oh, I have been seeing those, but I just assumed it was tomatoes or just assumed they were strawberries. So it's really being able to observe the difference between food and parasites because they do look similar. Um, Some of them look like little pumpkin seeds. So if you're not eating pumpkin seeds and you see these little pumpkin seeds, these could also be parasite eggs. Some people are seeing actual worms, things that actually look like spaghetti noodles. They can come in small forms, tiny little pinworms. They could be a little longer. Some of them are seeing, you know, one foot of, of worm. Um, and other people are seeing little black dots, little things that are little parasite eggs, tiny little eggs. Now, remember, there are like hundreds of parasites. There's different kinds, there's different species, and they all come out differently. And we don't have this trained eye to know exactly what they're, they look like. But we can we can help to try and decipher what they are. But the real result is how you feel. This is how you know this is working, because as they're coming out day to day, you're noticing improvements in reduced bloating. You're noticing that you're, you're less gassy, that you're able to tolerate foods. Your brain is not full of um, a brain, brain fog and difficulty focusing with concentration issues. Maybe you're moody and you have anxiety, irritability, um, especially around the full moon. You see this lot in kids who have parasites, especially around the full moon. You'll start to notice, what are my kids doing? What are they on? I've done that so many times. And my kids personally, I found liver flukes. I remember my two-year-old opening up his diaper and just seeing these little red jellyfish. And there were so many of them, I stopped picking them out because I thought, okay, this isn't food. This is nothing he's eaten. This is for sure these liver flukes. And we even had to take him through a parasite protocol. So yeah, they show up everywhere. You guys, I'm so excited. We are doing a free masterclass for you. It's actually on nontoxicfamily.com slash masterclass. That's nontoxicfamily.com slash masterclass. And it's going to be all about how to get rid of your gut infections, how to get rid of parasites. If you have painful digestion, if you're suffering from poor sleep, If you've got constant exhaustion, massive joint pain, or skin issues, then you need to get rid of the parasites that are holding your body hostage. I'm going to tell you right now, you're thinking, I don't have parasites. I don't have parasites. Yes, you do. I have Crystal with me. Crystal, tell them your joke. (laughs) Yeah. If you have a pulse, then you have a parasite or more. And the thing about parasites is they're sneaky. And even if they came back negative on a stool test that you did before, that doesn't matter. They can still be present. And so on this masterclass, we're going to teach you all the tips and tricks that you might have heard of but didn't know how to use. 
like diatomaceous earth, pumpkin seed protocols, garlic and berberine and black walnut, because you can't do all of these things, but you need to select a few that work for you. So we're going to go through all of that in this masterclass. All right. And my son created a new site. It's called Non-Toxic Family. And if you're not following, go to nontoxicfamilynow.com or on Facebook, go to Non-Toxic Family. You'll see my son. He does all these great videos on how to be healthy. They're really great. And we actually put the mat free masterclass on this site. So it's nontoxicfamily.com slash masterclass and sign up for free. Look forward to seeing you guys. Yeah. So if you guys are having brain fog, exhaustion, skin issues, joint pain, then this is probably all from parasites. And if you're going to get these pathogens out, you have to be able to know what they look like. And we're going to actually teach you how to discover what these look like, right? Because if you're going to really tackle the parasites in your own system, You've got to be able to look at them and be able to identify and look at your poop and go, like, perfect example, if you don't eat spaghetti and you're sitting <laughs> this spaghetti in your poop, then yeah. I would... <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And, and we're going to actually show you photos, okay, of real poop and real parasites. Don't let that scare you because, listen, we all poop, right? And we have to get comfortable with this idea of what do these parasites look like? How do I know that I have them? And we are going to be doing a free masterclass with me and Crystal to talk about this. And I think so many people are just turning a blind eye and they're like, no, the only way I'm getting parasites is if I go to Costa Rica or I go to a third world right. country or something right. like that. So talk right. about that of, of just this idea that people literally are kind of like burying their head under the sand and going, yeah. no way, I don't have parasites. And I'm telling you right now, guys, listen, <laughs> promise you, I have gotten so many stool tests from a regular GI doctor that have told me that I have no parasites. They're like, nope, no parasites, no parasites, no parasites. And I promise you I had parasites. So talk about that for just a second. Yeah. Um, you know, it can, and one thing I want to add before I go into that is the, what you said about stool testing, um, and about traveling and only being able to get them when you travel. Um, you can, you can get them through lettuce. You can get them through, um, drinking water. You're going camping and you can have contaminated water. You could be living on well water and you could be having infiltrations from your well water. There's so many different ways of getting these. And in daycares especially, kids are passing them through sneezing. Pinworm eggs are actually passed through sneezing. So it's very common. And a lot of people will also say, ah, we all have them. It's normal. Parasites are normal. Yes, it is. They are normal. It is common. They are everywhere. And some of us can live with them in symbiosis. But that's the key word, in symbiosis, together without them harming you. The problem is, is when they start harming you and now you feel like your body's being taken over. And it's exactly how we describe parasites. It's like you've been taken over by an alien. An alien has invaded your body and you do not recognize it anymore. So we we don't want to make assumptions that we don't have them. We want to just try to identify either a parasite, a bacteria. They usually go hand in hand because when a parasite does take over the body, usually the body, the microbiome does get affected too. And then you have a micro, a micro balance as well, an imbalance as well. Um, and so, yeah, they can, they can survive anywhere. They can be from um, a restaurant. They can be from poor hand washing. They can be from your, your children, bringing them home from daycare. Like it is everywhere. And it's not to scare people because again, we live with parasites. When you have a strong digestive system, when you have strong stomach acid, you have a body that's able to break things down these parasites die and they do not make their way into your body and you eliminate them. That is how it's supposed to be. But the problem is, is we're highly medicated. We're highly stressed. We're exposed to EMFs, electromagnetic frequencies. And that is encouraging the survival of these parasites in our bodies. 
I want to talk to you guys about stress for just a second. And I feel like I've been just juggling so many responsibilities, the endless to-do list. And I'm telling you, stress slowly infiltrates your life and it robs you of magnesium. So it's a vital mineral for your body. And it's this vicious stress magnesium deficiency cycle. So it's like number one, stress strikes, then your body loses magnesium, then your sleep is kind of plummeted, and then more magnesium escapes your body. So I want to tell you, Magnesium Breakthrough, it has seven forms of magnesium, which is really, really important. Most of them have one or two forms. I take two before bedtime every single night. If I forget it, I then can't sleep as well. So if you look at my sleep scores, they are amazing. That is one thing I really have dialed in. And I want you to go to magbreakthrough.com slash waste away. Click on waste away for 10% off any order. And we have several people for a limited time only that are going to receive special gifts with purchase. So it's only available at magbreakthrough.com slash waste away. Well, I'm telling you right now, if you are, are worried about hey, what's going on with my health? Why can't I get this right? We need to revitalize your gut microbiome. We're going to be talking about how to get rid of these different gut gut infections. And we're going to be talking about autoimmune disorders, other chronic health concerns. Um, and the whole class is free. So go to nontoxicfamily.com slash masterclass. We're going to be talking about all of this and we can't wait to see you there. So join us. Bye, guys. Bye.